Hey guys, what is going on? In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to add mods to the Modern Warfare 2 campaign. Okay, now I'm not sure if this works for Spec, spec Ops 2, but I have not tried it. But what you want to do to start, you want to find your... And this does not involve any downloading too. Um, no downloads are needed, so that's good. So what you want to do, you want to open your file explorer and go to wherever your Modern Warfare 2 game directory folder is. So for me, it's an Acer. Uh, program files times 86 steam steam apps common and here it is now if you want to have quick access to it all you have to do is take it and drag it and pin it to your file explorer I've already done that so all I have to do is right click on it and open up open it up so now once you're in here you want to go to this folder right here it's called players you want to go ahead and click that and you'll have two files in here config and config underscore mp now this is the configuration folder for multiplayer and this is the one for campaign and spec ops so what we're going to do we're going to right click on that and you're going to click open with and you're going to um you want to select notepad plus plus i'll leave a link in the description for notepad plus plus you could open it with notepad i'll just show you what it looks like this is what it looks like if you open it with notepad everything's out of order and it's kind of all over the place but when you take it and you open it with notepad plus plus you can see everything is in order and it's all beautifully done so the first thing you want to do you want to come all the way to the bottom and you want to type um here first i'll take out I'll take this out because I've already done that. So you want to come all the way to the bottom and type in setup. And then there is a cow. And then open up a, um, quotations and then type in 1337 and close that. And then you want to type this. This is what basically what makes all the mods work. Now what I have, um, I have do have some mods here. You want to type these mods right underneath there is a cow but when you save it and close it it'll put it automatically back in alphabetical order I'll show you so when I close this and then I come back and open it up back with notepad plus plus if I go all the way to the bottom oh it's still there it looks like you have to run the game but anyways I'll just choose a default program okay so once I go to the bottom it's still there but once you start out the game it won't really matter because it will put it in alphabetical order and it will put it somewhere here now I'm just trying to find the other mods that I've added and I'm gonna pause the video right now and find them okay so I just found them um, they were at the top so basically what you want to do this is the first one I have it's bind be no target now basically what this mod does no target it um, makes it so the enemies can't see you it's pretty much like you're invisible they don't shoot at you or anything and you have to write bind in front of it and then the B here is when I press the B key on my keyboard this mod will be activated and when I press it again it'll deactivate itself and then same thing here bind and give ammo this basically gives you full ammo and everything and then once I click the N key it will give me all the ammo now again it doesn't have to be the N key or the B key for you it can be whatever you want you could make this number six on your keyboard you can get it you can make it F5 F6 whatever you want and then I'll here I really um like this one. This is God mode, so basically you're invincible. So when the enemies shoot you, you'll basically stay alive no matter what. And for that, that's the V key. And I'm also really like this one, no clip. This is one of my personal favorites. Um, and I activate the X key with that. Whoops. So I'll just go ahead and save this, and I'll show you guys how. Now again, you don't want to add these right here. You want to come down to the bottom and then add all these mods. I'll put those mods in the description just so you can copy and paste them. But again, you can change the bind to key to to whatever you want. You can make just like you can make it whatever you want. You don't have to make it what I have it. But anyways, I'll go ahead and close this and I'll open up Modern Warfare 2 and show you guys how some of them work. Okay, so I'll open up the campaign. I'll just. I haven't really completed the campaign. I'll just go to. Uh, I'll just go to SSDD. Why not? Okay, so. Oh, and it's also important to remember what keys you put your the more things mods change, on. The more they um, stay the same. Or what are your activation keys? Boundary shift. New players step if, in. 
but power you forget your activation keys, you activate the wrong mod, you could die or whatever and get angry. So I'll basically show you how some of these mods work right now. This is the first mission of the game, if you're familiar with MW2. So the no clip mod basically is this, where you can, I'm going to pick up a weapon just so you can follow along. When I press the X key, I can basically fly around anywhere, and then when I press the X key again, wherever I am, I will spawn there and I can run around. So I can go up here, press the X key, and whoa, these guys are standing on nothing. Okay, good job Treyarch, way to go. But anyways, you could basically go wherever you want with this thing on any map, and then again, you don't have to hold down the X or whatever key, you just have to press it and release it. And if I, now it won't tell, give you a notification that the mod's activated, so when I press the V key right now, I know that I have no target so the enemies can't see me. When I press the B key, I know that I have unlimited ammo. When I press the N key, I know I have God. So I'll just press the X key again and get back to where they are. Now there are other mods in the game. These are just my favorite and these are the basic ones. If you want to find the other mods, you can go ahead and do that. I'm not going to leave all the other mods in the description for you. but. I'm just going to leave the main ones in the description just so you can copy and paste them and make it a lot easier. Alright, so with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.